Hey everybody, it's Krista from Krista So Crafty. Today I want to show you how to do a tutorial on some painted um, candle holders. Um, these are ones that I just picked up at the dollar store, but look at how stinking cute they turned out. I think they are anyways. I'm pretty impressed with how they turned out. So I bought three different ones from the dollar store and I painted them up. Show you the other one here. And I'm just going to show you how to make these. Really simple, easy project. The longest thing you're going to have to worry about is the drying time for the paint and for the Mod Podge. So, without further ado, let's get into it and I'll show you how to do these. Thanks. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've posted anything, so I thought I'd do a quick little tutorial on um, some little, cute little glass candle holders I found at the mm -hmm. Dollar Tree. Um, they're just a dollar twenty-five, so very reasonable. Found some different ones. I thought what I might do is just paint them orange, get some orange going, and get some fall colors going here. So what I'm going to do, um, so I'm going to do these three jars. So I'm just going to set them aside for a second. What I'm going to use is I'm going to take some Mod Podge and some orange acrylic paint. Um, both of these you can find at um, Walmart, Michaels that type of thing. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to use just the orange paint because it'll be too thick. So I thought if I took the orange paint and mixed it in with the Mod Podge because the Mod Podge dries clear that it would maybe give it a kind of a opaque look to it. So that's what I'm going to try. Fingers crossed that it's going to work out. So let's get started here. So I have my little tray here and I'm just going to take some Mod Podge going to dump some in the middle here and I don't really know how much I'm going to need so we'll start with that all right and give my paint a shake and throw some in and we're just going to stir it up here and see what what color we kind of get I know it's going to be orange but it's not going to be quite as bright because the uh, Mod Podge is white so Anyways, so I'm just going to do this, mix it all together, and I should have enough here to do at least one of these jars, and then I'll go from there. So I'm going to start with this little jar here, and I'm just going to kind of paint it upside down. Well, stick my hand inside. I don't want to get paint all over me. And I'm just going to start brushing the paint on. Just not real thin but thin thick enough that it'll cover but I don't want a whole bunch of streaks so I'm just using a, a paintbrush that's got a real soft bristle and we'll just keep going here so my idea was paint the jars this orange and hopefully it will be kind of a, like I said an opaque color and then I'm going to put some hemp cord. I have this hemp cord that I picked up at Walmart and I thought that I would maybe just wrap it around the neck of the jars just to kind of give it a little, I don't know, just so it's not all totally orange. So, all right, so I'll just keep going here. Get this paint on here. And the thing with the Mod Podge is it because it's a type of glue, it will help to protect the jar as well. So it's not going to be 100% by any means, but it'll help have a little bit of a protection on there because it's a sealant. That's what Mod Podge is. Get it too thin there. Now this is going to take a little while to dry and hopefully it will come out looking beautiful. I am going to paint the bottom of the jar as well. And I did buy some candles at the dollar store too, so some real candles rather than just the battery operated ones. And I will show you the, those once we get this painted and it's dry. All right, so having trouble getting it turned around here. Got my fingers in there. Give 
and another quick coat up here just to smooth out some of those lines. All right, I think that will be good. So what I'm gonna do is I will pause right now and get my hand out of this candle holder and then I will work on the other two. Hi there, so I'm back. So these are the little candles I was telling you about. I picked them up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, there's two filled glass votive candles, paid $1.25 for them. So these I think will work great. Yeah, so that's just them there. So let's continue on. I have the other two jars here to finish painting. Again, I've mixed up some more paint and I'm just going to paint this with the orange paint with the Mod Podge. Try not to get any streaks, but you know, this is not going to be perfect by any means. I don't strive for perfection. I strive to get things all done and to crafting makes my heart happy. So. The way I look at it is, is if I'm happy with it, that's all that matters. So keep painting here. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's absolutely gorgeous here today. Today is, I think, this is the 14th of September. No, it's got to be the 15th because Friday the 13th, we just went past. But um, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous here today. The sun is shining and... It's just beautiful you know the trees are starting to turn yellow which kind of makes me sad I'm a definitely a summer girl I love the warmth and the beaches and all that and hikes and spending time with my kids and stuff but fall is such a beautiful time I love all the colors when the trees start to change the colors and so we'll just have to deal with the winter in between So, just trying to get this on here without a whole bunch of streaks. Get some more paint on my brush. You don't want to go real thin because if you go thin paint, <clears throat> excuse me, but if you go real thin with your paint, that's when you start getting the streaks. So. Run a coat around the top here and then I will smooth it out. Alright, so now I'll just get this smoothed out a bit here. And again, like I said, if it's not perfect, I'm absolutely okay with that. So, I think, get a little bit on the bottom here. Sorry, I was out of camera there. Let's get this smoothed in here. All right, so that one's done. Just going to set it. I have a, a rack back here that I'm just going to set it on. Okay, and we're going to get this one done. I'm kind of excited to see how these are going to turn out because they all have kind of different textures. This one is has a lot of different textures. It's kind of like a shattered glass or I mean, don't even know. Anyways, all right, so let's get this painted on the bottom here. Well, this one's going to be a little bit more interesting to paint with all those little, I don't know, diamond shapes that are in here. I don't know, this one might actually be the easiest one because it's sticking in the holes better. Keep 
go in here. This is one thing I love doing. Is I love doing all different kinds of crafts, as you're probably learning from my channel. I don't just have one type of craft that I love to do. I do multiple things. So um, if you have any suggestions, you could leave it in the comment box below. I, I like I said, I, I tend to do a lot of different things. So maybe I can do a tutorial on something that you're interested in seeing. So now I've got to get this turned without me getting paint all over myself. There we go. All right. This is actually, I think this one's going to be kind of cool. I hope they, I hope they turn out the way that my, in my mind they're going to. Because I'm thinking with, like I said before, with the Mod Podge and the paint that it's going to be, Mod Podge will dry, dry clear. And this is kind of, by putting the paint in there, it's just coloring the Mod Podge. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed. All right, this one's almost getting to the point where we're done and then I'm gonna have to pause the video and let it dry before I can continue, but um, I'll just keep going here. Don't wanna leave any of these little diamond holes. I'm just making sure I got them all filled in good. And again, I don't want a whole bunch of paint in them, but anyway, so I think just do a quick go around here and make sure I have paint in all of those little holes, little diamond shapes. All right, so again, I am going to take that one and put it on the rack and I will be back when they are dry. Okay, so we're back. Now, I've gone ahead and the I've checked and these are all dry they're pretty orange so even though they're I'm okay with that and there's a few streaks in them but like I said before I'm not looking for perfection by any means but I think what I'm going to do is take some brown paint now I've got this is folk art paint it's teddy bear um, you can get this at Walmart or actually even any type of brown paint. I'm just going to try to put like a, age it a bit. I don't even know what that's called. Anyways, that's what we're going to try to do. So hopefully that'll work. I'm going to try using a little foam and see if I can't kind of streak it in there a bit. I don't know. I don't want a whole bunch. I just want to. I guess I need a little bit more than that. I just want to kind of get some more color in, or not more color, kind of tone down that orange a bit, a bit. So just kind of going to streak it on there. Hoping you can see what I'm doing here. Just kind of I'm going to streak it on there. I don't want big gobs of it. I'm just going to, what, distress it a little bit? Is that the right word? Anyways, um, just a little bit too orange for me, so I thought I'd try this. And again, I'm just going with my sponge here getting rid of the big streaks I don't want streaks and then once I do this I might put another coat of Mod Podge just to kind of seal this paint because of course the other paint had the um, orange was right in the Mod Podge so it's set but I kind of like this to be set too. See I, I think I kind of like that. Let's just kind of take some of that major orange out of it. Yeah 
I think I'm okay with that. So, yes. All right, so let's see what we can do with this one. All right. Now this one, because of all those little divots, I don't know how exactly how this is going to work. If it's even going to show at all. Well, I guess maybe a little bit. Like I said, it's just mainly to tone it down a little bit so it's not quite so, quite so orange. Just kind of smearing it in the little diamond shapes in the holes. Again, I don't want big pockets of, of paint. Just kind of smearing it around. Toning it down a bit. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, so I'll set that one over here. This one, I'm hoping, maybe even just to get kind of in the grooves, or I don't know. Sorry about that. That would be my phone. I thought I had it on silent. I apologize about that. Um, so this one's a little different. I think I need a little bit more paint. just keep working on this one and see how it's going to turn out. I'm just kind of going with the rings on this one. Sorry about all the clanging. That's the glass hitting my rings. So, well, I think that's going to be okay. I'm just kind of, again, I don't want big gobs of it or anything. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of the paint to stick. Getting it so it's not quite so such a vibrant orange. I don't know if you can hear the kids outside. They're having a, a bunch of kids are out that side playing right out on the green space outside there. <laughs> Sounds like they're having fun. All right. I think I'm okay with that. So again, we're gonna have to let this dry a bit. And then I will come back and we will finish these up. We're almost done. It's a really quick little project. It's just paint always takes time to dry, right? There. All right, there we go. And I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, so where am I at? Um, I have put another coat of Mod Podge on here over top of the the orange Mod Podge and the the brown paint I put on here, and I just put another layer of Mod Podge just to help protect it. So I'm really liking how these are turning out. They're kind of rustic, I guess. Yeah. So now all that we have left to do is to decorate them up. So what I've done is I'm using some of this hemp cord. I'm gonna use the kind of the tan color in the middle here. That can be purchased at Walmart, that's where I bought it. So let's start with this one. So basically all I'm going to do, real simple, just wrap it, wrap it around the top of the jar and I'm just going to put a little dab of glue, I think. I was gonna tie it, but I don't have enough room to tie it. So I think I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue right in that spot and then and then I went to the dollar store dollar store is a great place for craft supplies 
and I went and purchased, let's see if I can do this, I've got it open. I went and purchased this little container of wooden embellishments for like two bucks. And as you can see, I'm hoping you can see, there's butterflies, there's flowers, and there's some leaves. So I'm gonna use a couple of these to help decorate this up. All right, my glue gun should be hot. So going back to this, I'm just going to pull these in snug so that the ends meet up. And I'm just going to put a little dab of glue right in that spot. should do it and be careful because yes it's hot glue it tends to be hot <laughs> all right there we go now if you're concerned about the glue spot no worries because we're going to take one of these little wooden embellishments and we're just going to put it right over top of that so it'll cover it up all right so let's just put a little tiny bit of glue here And we're just going to stick it on there. So I'm just going to kind of put mine on a little bit of an angle here. And that should do it right like that. So that one's done. I think it's kind of cute. All right, so let's move on. I think I forgot to mention, I cut my cord about 40 inches. But you'll want to kind of measure around here. Just so that you can wrap your cord around at least two, three times, just to give it some, so it's not, you just want to have enough cord to wrap around a couple, couple, three times. Okay, and again, my cord's too short, so I think this time I'm just going to kind of, hoping you can see this, just going to kind of overlap them a little bit and leave them like that and put a little dab of glue there. So I'll just go underneath this one a bit. on top of that other one and just bring it down just like that okay now here's a trick for you I do a lot of different crafts and if you ever use hot glue and if you burnt your fingers often enough you try to find something that will work I was at the dollar store surprise surprise and I found a silicone spatula this works great because you can push Whatever it is you're working on, you can use the silicone to push it in, whatever the item is, in this case, the little twine, and then you, the hot glue just wipes right off of here. So silicone spatula from the dollar store works great. All right, so I think on this one, I'm going to put a flower. So I just picked out one of these little flowers. I'm going to put this on. A little bit of glue and I'm just going to stick it right on there. I think this one I'm going to leave up a little bit so it's kind of up and over the edge of the... just like that. Okay. And lastly we have this one. I'm actually liking how this one turned out. It's kind of different. Anyways, again I've got my little twine here. I'm just going to wrap it around. And this one, let's see, will it reach all the way around? Yes, it will. <laughs> it, well, it will. So, I'm just going to put a little, little bit of glue right where those ends are. Match them up. Get those in, sorry, and get those tucked into the glue there so they stay. And of course, I have little glue strings everywhere. All right, now for this one, I picked out a couple of these little leaves. I thought they were kind of cute. I thought maybe I might put a couple on there. So, how do I want them on there? Let's try this out first. Sure, let's do that. A little bit of glue right in the center there. 
and stick those in there. I mean, you don't need a whole lot of glue. There's not going to be any any pressure or anything on these being applied to these. So just enough that they're going to stick and they're not going to fall off. Yeah, so I think that looks kind of cute. So there are my three jars that I did up. And then I did show you, but I'll show you again. These are the, the candles that I picked up at the dollar store door as well. Two glass filled votive candles for $1.25. Can't beat the price. So what I'm going to do, now these ones, I tried these out ahead of time, and these ones will actually sit right at the very top. So they're just kind of, hope you can see that, they just kind of are floating there. So this is the same type of idea. It just sits right in that little top. So it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. And then of course the big one, So, I am quite happy with how these turned out. I hope you like them. Give them a try. They're a quick and easy project. Quick and easy. There's lots of drying time, but other than that, it's a quick and easy project. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Go ahead and share it with your friends if you like. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.